Time now for your tropical update here from the SNN Forecast Center. Meteorologist Dan Henry keeping an eye on things for you as we head toward the middle of October. We have two areas of interest that we're keeping track of. The first is given a low chance of development by the National Hurricane Center. It's in a disorganized tropical wave with just a 20% chance of formation as of late Thursday night. It's expected to move off to the north and uh, or to the west and then eventually take a northward turn toward Bermuda with no posed threat to the United States. And then we're also watching Category 2 Hurricane Ophelia set to impact the Azores Islands as well as Ireland by late this week and early next week. So Hurricane Ophelia now the 10th hurricane of the 2017 season with winds of 100 miles per hour. That makes it a Category 2 storm expected to maintain Category 2 storm for not much longer before weakening to a still dangerous Category 1 storm and eventually become uh, extra tropical. So eventually transition into more of what we would consider a nor'easter type storm, but move toward Ireland and the uh, perhaps northern coast of uh, Great Britain by uh, Monday or Tuesday of next week is a dangerous storm producing wind gusts of 70 to 80 miles per hour across the British Isles. As far as that uh, low chance of development system in the uh, central Atlantic, again, the European model is not terribly impressed with it. And you just see a slight deformation in the isobars here. And you can see as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday, this is what we would be waiting for to develop. It would be uh, scooting well out to sea by that time and no threat to us here in the United States. So our storm names uh, list, our next name storm would be Philippe, and you can see our very impressive run of 10 straight hurricanes here across the 2017 season. Of course, we'll keep an eye on uh, things all the way through November 30th, the end of the season.